In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, more and more companies are requiring their employees to work from home. So what does that look like and what are some tips? Shannon Handy joins us now live from her home to tell us. Shannon. Well, Steve, you can look at this in one of two ways. Some people are happy about working from home because they could maybe dress more comfortably or do their laundry or even keep a watch over their kids. But others may miss that human interaction. And for that reason, there are some things you can do to make the transition a little bit easier. Yeah, two weeks. Britta Henry has always had the freedom to work remotely. But she's never been forced to work solely at home until now. Are you starting to feel a bit stir crazy? A little bit, and you kind of have that dream of working remote where you could go to like a cool coffee shop and sit there, but now everyone's just kind of forced to just stay in one place and stay home and not really have that interaction. Britta works for an ad agency. Since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, she, her coworkers, and clients have relied on conference calls and online methods to do their jobs. We're not doing video chats really, but we do have screen shares that we can see what we're working on and really go through presentations that way. Britta isn't alone. Local companies like Qualcomm, as well as others around the world are doing the same. Even the news industry is taking part. CDC recommends that you self-quarantine. CBS Network reporter Vladimir Dutier is working from home after some of his co-workers tested positive for the virus. You really do want to try to keep your distance. On Twitter, the hashtag work from home is trending. Some are sharing playful gifts. Others are posting about their deskmates, aka pets. This man wrote, putting an alternate spin on this. It's not every day you can save a life by sitting at home watching Netflix and eating snacks be a hero it's just a different way of doing things that you kind of have to adapt to Britta says benefits include being able to do laundry or meal prep while you work having the ability to wear something a bit more casual can also be a plus but she recommends doing the opposite as well as taking breaks it helps to put on normal clothes and you know make sure that you're focusing on things and take a lunch break you have to set time for yourself to really motivate yourself Many people see the work from home order as a good thing, suggesting more companies offer the flexibility for employees even after coronavirus dies down. It'll be interesting to see what it's like when all of this is over. And look who's awake. This is a benefit to working from home. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people can't work from home. But again, if you are, another tip is make sure you get up, walk around, get some fresh air. That's really important. And I did notice today that Internet companies, even desk companies, are actually offering deep discounts because they are anticipating so many people will work from home. And it always follow those common guidelines. Wash your hands and just try and be safe. We'll send it back to you guys. Oh, those little cheeks. You didn't hear a, like any of the last <laughs> no, part of I what didn't. Shannon said, I, I, did you? I'm sorry, Shannon. Was that not it. the most welcome distraction to everything that's going on? Let's just, we She's should beautiful. just do a little live cam in yeah. Shannon's living room. She could just bring the baby by once in a while to make everybody smile. Oh you gosh. know, that makes me think, though, Carlene, with all this rain this yes. weekend, that's just nature reminding us, hey, stay inside. Yeah. Yeah. Spend some time with your family. Don't worry about all this socialization. Socialize with your family. I like that. Yeah. And it's just been, it's been difficult because over the past couple of days we've been dealing with a lot of rainfall.